what made you want to run? So I was encouraged by community leaders and business people who thought that there could be dignity restored to the office and a more community approach to running the county judge seat. And you know, what are some kind of important issues um, for you um, and for the county of Midland? So the county judge, the role is an arm of the state, so you don't have a whole lot you can do outside the box. But of course, roads, infrastructure, backing the blue, keeping your law enforcement fully funded. We've got the new jail that's being proposed. There's a, an issue going on with the critical infrastructure with the water, where it hasn't been quite yet brought out to the county. And that's been being addressed, I guess, for the last three years and two months. Um, so that's one of those things where you need water to stay alive. And I will absolutely be looking at working with the city and all the various agencies to make that happen for our county residents. And, you know, um, what are some things that you think, opposed to your candidate, makes you, you know, a good, a better candidate or, you know, why people should vote for you opposed to so a reason you may consider voting for me, one of the reasons I've told people all along is go look at our social medias and see, see the difference on the profiles of the, the character of the people that, that A, post on each social media and, and what they say. That, that I think is telling of how you may be represented as a community member. I do for a lot of nonprofits. I've, that's what I've done since I got here. I love doing for the nonprofits. It's, my, it's kind of my hobby and it worked out nice in my current job role where that's part of what I do, but I also do it on the weekends, at the night, all on the time. And when I, should I, at the voters' hands, win this election, my plan is to resign my job where I work right now at a bank and focus solely on the county. That's a difference between me and, and my opponent. Um, and, oh, just tell me a little bit about, um, you know, your background and, you know, mm -hmm. where you're from, Midland, you know, that kind of thing, and your job. So currently I'm a vice president at a local community bank. I have a background in finance and operations and uh, in quality improvement, which is something that, that will be looked at. Like that is something that would have been addressed during the 2019 elections where we lost the ballot box under the current leadership and nobody rolled up their sleeves and said, hey, that ballot box is in here and your vote counts and nobody looked around. So that's something that I find terribly important and that's the voter security part of my platform. I am not originally from Texas. I've been here for nine years and I love making this my home and doing for the community. And um, so, you know, the judge works a lot with the commissioners and, you know, even the city. So um, in what ways would you, you know, be good at that, working with people, that kind of thing? So I talk a lot about relationships and that it's what I do. I network, I put people together. I also understand contracts and I understand how to how to, how to make things mesh together from my background in being in finance compliance and in operations. And I think you need to have a, an ability to, to continue smiling at people even if you don't want to. You can disagree with them, but you still need to be civil. And that's part of what I bring to the table. Um, and, you know, if you do get elected, what is one of the first things, you know, that you want to change or, you know, help? You kind of mentioned the water and all of that. Um, you know, what are one of the first things you want to do? One of the first things I want to do is thank the voters, should I win? And, and I was asked if I got into office, would I run for a second term? And I said, that wouldn't be my choice. It's always a voter's choice whether or not you choose to win. So I think really listening to the voters, I know my opponent is on the record of saying that it's his Midland, it's his choice, it's what he does. So there is a difference in philosophy on how I approach things, just, just as a general rule. I believe in listening to the voters and the community, and I think they'll dictate where we need to go. And um, can you just speak a little bit on like the importance of voting? You know, why should people get out there and vote, you know, regardless? Local elections are always important. I was just, I just shared something on Facebook the other day back in 2017 where I was busy talking about it. Uh, we had a leadership function going out to Austin and we were talking about local elections. It all starts here. So if your local leader doesn't, doesn't support what you want in your community and they don't believe that, that raising taxes is something you shouldn't just do on a whim and say, oh, we're leaving money on the table. Make sure you know who you're voting for. Make sure you understand what, they, what, they, what they're gonna do for you because they work for you. And that's why the local elections are so important. When you get up to the higher levels, people feel really um, disengaged from working with their, with their higher leadership, but local leadership, you're gonna run into them in the grocery store. You're gonna run into them over at, the, at getting your car washed and they need to be accountable for their actions and what they said before 
and what, they, what they're doing during. And if they make a promise, they're going to need to keep it and not just spending down the reserves. Um, is there anything else you want to add about your campaign, you know, what you're running for, that kind of thing? Again, I'm running for Midland because Midland matters. I'm running to restore dignity to the office, and I would love your vote. I would be humbled. I am humbled to receive it. I've personally knocked on approximately, after this weekend, 2,000 doors. I've waved at voters. I've talked to voters. I've answered their questions. I've helped educate people who've been born and bred in Texas, telling them what the county judge does and what they can do for them. And uh, I've just been very excited about this experience at large. So thank you. And, you know, so the goal just to make Midland better, just to improve the citizens of the county. It's like the Good Samaritan rule. I was asked the other day during the Midland County Republican Women Luncheon where I was speaking, what is my moral compass on guiding the county? I said, first you start with God, then you look to your fellow man. But if you're looking to God, you're already looking to doing right by your fellow man. And then I said, and then it's camping. C-A-M-P-I-N-G. It's the Good Samaritan rule. You always leave it better than you found it. And you always just want to improve things. That is why you plant trees today. You're, not, you're maybe not going to get the shade, but someone else will, and it will improve the community. Cool. Uh, anything else in general that you'd like to add? I, I would like to say root for Smoot. I would love your vote, uh, either through early voting on up, that goes up to Friday, February 25th, or on March 1st at the actual election day. So I appreciate your consideration.